بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ویلکم یو آل ان مائی کلاس سو ٹوڈے اسٹوڈنٹس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو ود آر لیسن دیٹ از دا لیسن فرام دا ویٹل آف وقت ایز وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ان ڈیٹیل دا بیک گراؤنڈ فار دا دیٹ بیٹل اینڈ ایز ویل ایز ان آر پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ آر ٹیکسٹ سو اف یو ہیو یور بکس وتھ یو پلیز اوپن پیج نمبر So reading uh, unit that is unit 3 and we would be reading 3.1 these slides are again uh, given for your for the recap that why what is the importance of this battle these are the basic details that we have talked we have discussed in detail then there is the importance of the battle <coughs> so what are you going to do at this is the last lecture from the text so definitely you will you are going to see the things uh, these all important things or important notes has been given there okay has been given here in the slide so you are going to just see that what are the important points and how you can just put and you just see the in the light of the text right so such as uh, we go it offered a lot of the muslim to learn from their mistakes so what are the mistakes that muslim made their muslim got cautious and fought till the end so what was that thing that they became cautious and they fought till the end and then the lesson that the instruction of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam must never be neglected you must also you must uh, you uh, you must think and you must collect all those information all those points that we are we would be discussing in our coming lecture so this important uh, important point from the battle uh, of uhud you are going to relate it with the text this is the lesson uh, and these are the main points definitely we have come till the uh, till from we have Uh, gone through the reasons we have just said um, we have gone through the consultation with the companions there were two uh, you can say opinions then distinguish hypocrites how the uh, how the group of 300 people that would do and then distinguish hypocrite that led that made a clear cut distinction between the false and the true people the the consequences of uh, disobedience so let's see what would be the consequences of disobedience and disbeliever trick how they are going to uh, trick the muslims so uh, we will be starting from page number 78 as uh, in the previous uh, less in the previous lesson we have seen that there was a decision made to be in the open field to uh, fight the battle of uhud okay the duel has been done the duel that is a combat between the two person that has been done and in the very first beginning it was Uh, the um, flag bearer the, the standard bearer of uh, those non muslim that had uh, gone that had been killed by the uh, by the brave hands of hazrat ali razila tana anhu and muslim they were just so enthusiastic they just enchanted they just sorry they chanted allah akbar allah akbar everywhere and they eagerly they just participated in the battle so uh, the muslim uh, those have won the first round and gave uh, they have given the uh, deadly blow to the uh, to the morale of the army so definitely they have muslims have boosted up their courage on the other hand the army and the enemy and that was not in good situation let's see what happened what happened next after duels the battle began after, okay that after that combat Uh, between the two persons the battle began the real battle began it appeared that the happening of event at the beginning of the battle were going to same way as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has imagined so it seems to be that uh, it is going to happen uh, the result of the battle are going to be for, um, uh, to be uh, favorable for the muslims as uh, the first around what was the first round the combat or the duel between two person that has been um, successfully won successfully done by the muslims but let's see what happens In the charge of ali rizila talan ho hamza and abu dujan spread panic and concentration cons- uh, sorry consternation consternation mean anxiety in the ranks of army and they began to waver they began to tremble so what the as a charge by hazrat ali hazrat hamza and abu dujan rizila talan ho it spread panic and anxiety among the <coughs> in the lines of enemy in the ranks of enemy and they began to they began to be tremble by this fear that they would be defeated 
the unsteadiness and the confusion of the army of makkah had become very much visible and the muslim assumed that they had already won a victory so as the, the morale of the army and, and the enemy had was very low so what happened that the muslim it was very much visible by their movement and they were so unsteady and confused by their all their military tricks so it seems that muslim have won the war in so what happened this maneuver this military a uh, attitude this military you can say move it was seen by the archers who had been posted by the prophet at the strategic pass so those um, this all military actions or the activity these are moves military moves that were seen by the archers archers the if you could remember the archers that were just pointed at the um, uh, i think so at the left flank yes at the left flank they were just pointed to guard against uh, guard against the enemy uh, cavalry that were uh, appointed there okay so those archers those were pointed at the at that left uh, in the left flank in the le- in the left wing of that uh, mountain who had been posted by the prophet at the strategic pass it was the um, it was important um, you can say point and that they had been they were appointed they left their places so what happened they left their places uh, post and made a tactical and made a very technical mistake to descend into the plain and um, descend into the plain below against the express order of the prophet so what is the text use here that is the express order the very clear order of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so what happened as muslims were observing that they are winning the battle so and the morale of our uh, enemy that was very down so they assumed i am using the word they assumed they thought that they have won the battle so in you know, the archers on the um, that were just given the direction the clear direction by our holy prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam not to lift that left left flank uh, in any way the left flank or that wing anyway and it were the strict directive to never to leave that place without uh, his permission they just came down they just left their position their captain abdullah abdullah bin jabbar ajja them ajja I mean they, he just requested them he just stopped them not to abandon not to leave the pass but they paid no heed but they didn't listen and swept into the valley and came down into the valley started collecting male ganimat so as you see say that uh, um, as you just see that male ganimat that is uh, uh, that is the collection of material or all the th- those thing when any of the army just come successful or they just win the win any of the battle so male ganimat become the part of their possession so um, those muslims rather uh, it gives us the lesson that it is not our born right to be always uh, conqueror we have to make some efforts so um, they started to collect that malik animat halat bin al walid who had not yet converted to islam who has not embraced islam at that moment noticed that the strategic pass noted that that important pass or important passage or important you can say point to the left of the army of muslim was unguarded so so from that pass from that point where the muslim were having um, they, the, they were they could hold the whole of the situation very easily and uh, even he, he just observed that one of that main important and significant point has been abandoned has been left uh, guard unguarded by the uh, by the muslim he immediately he immediately uh, seized the opportunity he caught that opportunity he just uh, availed that opportunity to attack the handful of the pickets pickets what are those pickets that's what the the soldiers the watchful soldier performing duty to watch on the army so what are the pickets pickets are the small group of soldier performing the duty of to watch the enemy enemy so they were watching the enemy their movement so they have to be there so so when uh, uh, halid bin walid just observed 
that there was there is no one and most of the people they have come down and some of the people that some of the small group of people is still at the pass he just came with the his with his cavalry with all his forces the pickets fought bravely but all them including abdullah ibn jabal rasul ta'ala who that um, was the that was the leader of that uh, group were overpowered and martyred Khalid bin Walid captured the, the pass and attacked the army of the Muslim from rear. From rear I means from the back side. Uh, so, uh, um, as we just we can see that that the strategic planning of our prophet beloved prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was to protect all the wings all the wings of the uh, troops from different direction one of the main direction that was being being you can say possessed and uh, guarded by those archers but soon they left the place so definitely there will there was very small force that was left when it was observed by the enemy that the small force couldn't hold it for so long and they just uh, and they all those um, um, muslim they just um, had their they were martyred so the position was taken by the non muslims and definitely by this thing that the different uh, the right flank and rear was just attacked by by the uh, non muslim the muslim army was busy in gathering malaganimat utterly oblivious oblivious mean they were not aware of ignorant of everything else they were not just being they were not just observing anything else that what is going to happen suddenly they were startled they were <coughs> they were astonished they were taken aback by the change of army enemy's cavalry in the inner rear so they were just uh, suddenly they were startled that what happened what happened at the other wing abu sufyan also noticed the maneuver that military attack of halad and the bewilderment of the muslims and the confusion of the muslim he relate he relate mean he just make an other movement relit mean come again in uh, to in order to just continue fighting fighting sorry come again it don't come together again in order to do fighting so one the non muslim those have thought uh, no doubt they are uh, true by halad bin uh, al walid that was in an 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 action there but on the other hand abu sufyan those ha- that has not noticed till the previous moment that what has happened but when he gave it when he noticed that in, in the military um, act or the movement of uh, halid bin walid he just gathered he just came again in, in, uh, to fight and he been the uh, and on the other hand there is a stress bewilderment that is the uh, confusion of the muslim he relayed his troops returned to the scene of action and launched a frontal attack upon them so muslims are being surrounded from everywhere the uh, the right flank flank or oh, has been destroyed okay uh, flank has been in destroyed and because all the people all those muslim they had been martyred on the other hand uh, muslim had been attacked from on the raid site and then came the frontal attack definitely the frontal attack was done by abu sufyan the muslim found themselves caught in a pincer pincer is in fact a, that is uh, like a tool a tool of metal or iron and it has two blades uh, like scissor okay and so it is used for a firm grip so muslim found it is used as a metaphor here they for they thought they are they are caught into that you can say that they are caught they got they had been gripped um, by the movement of the uh, enemy enemy and they panicked they, so because they had been they one uh, they had been facing the uh, continuous attack and they couldn't understand what's going to happen so they became um, panicked they just lost their uh, morale in a short time the tables were turned in a short time the matter was Uh, against the result okay so what was the matter before that it seems to be muslims are going to win but no the time the matter um, uh, the table just turned on them and the victory was french it was just pulled out from their hand it was just grabbed from their hands 
the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had given the banner of had given the banner islam to mushab ibn umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu so hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam our prophet have given the banner of islam to mushab ibn umar he was martyred by the enemy and the banner of islam fell on the ground but hazrat ali seized catch the sacred banner and bore it along a mess in the middle of the storm of battle as masab resembled the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in person and he has got the resemblance with our holy prophet with our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a shout was put up by the enemy that hazrat muhammad so there was this is the tactic this is the technique that who is sorry this is the tactic that we are talking about the how there is those non muslim use so that the uh, fall tactics to make muslims unsuccessful so nauz billah got fair bit what happened that uh, as one of the uh, sahaba he that has that has uh, been martyred by the enemy and he has got the resemblance with our holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was just a shout that that hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam got fair bit nauz billah was martyred the moral of the polytheists polytheists of makkah mean those who are non believers having believe in many god was beefed up was it was strengthened by this shout uh, but demoralized muslim army so by this tactic worked the tactic work that uh, the leader of the muslim nauz billah it has um, he has been martyred and the and the um, the morale of the army that was that boosted up on the other hand the muslim they just became dejected the prophet uh, sorry the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who was fighting in the other part of the battlefield had been wounded and his head and holy face was bleeding a few muslim mainly the ansar was were defending him it was the little group and its battle cries that got um, its battle cries that got ali radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu attention he tore his way he made his way to the and through the enemy lines and came up to the com, uh, uh, comrades in arms they stood surrounded this stood stood surrounded uh, surrounding the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam led by abu dujan so they were they were uh, they were doing their best to shield him from the weapons of army rasul ali rasulullah ta'ala who was thrilled to see his master alive our holy prophet our beloved prophet alive the uh, idolaters renewed their attack they just again attack charged repeatedly but hazrat ali rasulullah ta'ala who repulsed them drove them back repelled them each time the strong defense of hazrat ali rasulullah ta'ala who another sahaba therefore prevented the non believers to take advantage of the victory and avert destruction the battle was that would have otherwise ended in annihilation for muslim that had would be ended in the uh, in the destruction it could be a doom it could be a, a, a for the muslim and it didn't draw so what happened that as they wanted to they wanted to have some their filthy desires to want to do some wrong desires but as the defense of hazrat ali and uh, rasulullah ta'ala anhu and other um, others just made it is made it possible that muslim just were saved from the great destruction so the war ended in draw so here comes the important thing the price of disregarding the commands of holy prophet and neglect of duty and responsibility by the bands of archer was paid by muslim with 70 martyrs so what happened so once we say in the very beginning of the lesson that we have learned the lesson this is the lesson the lesson from the battle of uhud it has multiple lessons as well the one of the biggest and the chief lesson that we may apply in our that we have to apply in our lives as well that once we disobey our holy prophet it or in any of the matter of the life definitely will face the consequences and in this matter they just the muslim neglected their duty and responsibility they were busy in collecting the mali ganimat on the other hand they couldn't understand the tactics of the enemy by so what happened they have to face the consequences there were 70 martyrs stress woes and grief so please underline these words stress woes and grief 
there was a stress that they couldn't be successful although it was a withdrawal the battle was withdrawn if there was a draw no one can gain the uh, clear victory on the other hand there was a grief by they have this uh, um, the grief because many of the uh, dear ones and the prominent figures of islam that has embraced the um, uh, they have gone to heaven as uh, being martyred woes and grief but they learned a valuable lesson please underline this never to disobey the orders of the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in future so we here we come to the end of the um, lesson so the battle uh, of uhud has a great moral lesson for the muslim it taught them the lesson of remaining united disciplined and loyal in time in time of disappointment and de- defeat they became more determined and sincere in the lo- in their loyalty to islam and prophet they knew that the like lack, lack of discipline disobedience and greed caused their defeat in future wars they never disappeared the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam on the other hand the defeat at battle lowered the prestige of muslim in the eye of neighboring desert tribes as a result several um, tribes broke away their alliance with the Uh, with muslims so this is this is the thing that we are talking about wo grief and all these and um, these things so um, uh, this was for the battle of uhud and uh, we being muslim we have to understand that what the way that uh, it uh, is being laid by our holy prophet it is the way to victory so the battle of uhud has a great significance for muslim muslims it is not having the great significance for the muslim at that appointed time uh, for that event but even for the future for it it is having an everlasting lesson okay mm, um, because uh, um, the, we just uh, consider that we just come to know that we have to be committed we have to listen our li- and listen our holy prophet okay so that was uh, and for the uh for this lesson hopefully you would had understood all the matters all the uh, all the details in case of any query problem please to let me know we would be sharing with you the question answer soon please listen the lecture carefully and try to on all difficult word meaning in your registers or on your textbook thank you so much take good care of you allah hafiz